I don't think there's any seven on seven teams to have a father and a son have been as successful as we have been, uh, let alone have a team and whatnot and have started a team. Come on, man. It don't matter. Everybody's got all these four and they five stars. We don't need that. We got ballers over here. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. The fight, the grit. I love it. We never gave up and we battled adversity. That's pretty awesome for a bunch of 12 year olds. You hear me? Yes, pretty awesome. Coaches and sports teams emphasize being a family to their athletes. Having that family dynamic is important to being successful, but what about having those values among the coaching staff? Gridiron Elite 7v7 from the Orlando area takes those traits quite literally, with a father and two sons leading the direction of the championship winning program over their seven years of existence. The team won two DR7 championships this season and has exploded as a national brand in the circuit. Leading the way is father Vinny Siciliano alongside his sons, Michael and Anthony. Though they've had success in the 7v7 ranks, their roots go back to when the trio coached alongside each other for the first time at Masters Academy in Oviedo. I took a, a year, uh, I had two hip replacements, mm -hmm. and, um, and I was working, I was building a school. And uh, my son was the OC at Masters Academy. And I'll never forget the day, and he, you know, I wanted to get back into it, you know, because I needed to let everything heal. He says to me, Pops, you want to come and help us out? So what, what do I got? He goes, uh, you got the offensive line. I said, well, okay, now I've got to re, you know, think this through. Uh, I've coached receivers, I've coached running backs, I've coached quarterbacks. I said, okay, O-line, okay, okay. So I got into the meat potatoes of the O-line and we didn't have the biggest O-line. He was the OC. And then next thing you know, he gets his brother to come and do the quarterbacks. So first time ever done, all three of us was on the same side coaching. And that year we were very talented and uh, we won states for the first time, so all three of us have a ring. Um, it, was it, it wasn't the point of winning it, it was doing it with them, and I'm able to sit there and talk about it to this day. My mom always joked with me, she said, you better make sure your father wins that state championship <laughs> ring. So lots of pressure and whatnot, <laughs> and you know, able to hold that trophy over top of him when we were at the stadium in Lakeland when we won states, beat a great OCP team, Orlando Christian Prep. I mean, it was incredible, man. Uh, you know, seeing the smile on his face and the passion, you know, now he has that state ring. That's something he can cross off his bucket list. And, you know, it's well-deserved for all the hard work and all the determination he puts in. From there, the birth of Gridiron Elite 7v7 became a reality, but maybe not in a way you would expect. How this whole started with seven on seven at the field that we are right now, I was training some young men and uh, they came up to me and they said, uh, you know, we start talking about seven on seven. I said, he goes, coach, we'll, we'll come and play for you. Let, let's put it together, let's do it. So that very, that day I went home and I went to see my, my younger son, uh, Michael, and I said, hey, wanna do seven on seven together? Let's start this thing. Let's let's start with one team only and, and see how it goes. And we'll take it. We'll take it slow. So I wanted to do something with my son, and uh, I think we love football. He's so passionate. I'm so passionate. Uh, you can see us on the field how we we get. He always tells me you need to calm down, and I keep telling him he needs to calm down. But you know that's how we bounce things off of us. It started with just Vinny and Michael at first. Over the years, as the program rose through the ranks. Gridiron Elite grew rapidly from their one team, and eventually the two were able to convince Anthony to come out and coach with them this year for the first time in 7v7. Having my brother out there is great. Uh, that's my guy. I uh, love you a lot, Ant. So he really does an awesome job. I give him a hard time when he's calling the offense because it was his first time this year on 15U. Um, being that, you know, I've been in it for a while, so I would give him a hard time, but man, he did an awesome job his first year. Really, really did. I'm super proud of him. Really excited to see how he continues to develop as a play caller since he hasn't done that. Um, but I mean, God puts us in positions that we are supposed to be in, and I wouldn't want to do it other than with my dad and my brother. So I'm glad he's a part of it finally, and I'm glad he's able to go out there and enjoy it with us as well, because it is a great experience. Being on the seven on seven circuit, um, you know, that's why we do it, is to enjoy it, not only with the kids, but enjoy it with ourselves, bond with each other, because it's only gonna keep us closer, and you know, seven on seven definitely has been a vital part in our football lives as a family. We've been asking him for a while to come on, 
And he's going, nah, guys, I'm, that's not for me. I, I've just got too much going on. And then all of a sudden, this year we said, hey, we need to, we can trust him. You know, he, he's our, he's our family. He's, you know, I go, look, there's no one else that I know is going to be there all the time, and I can count on him, and everything will work out fine. He really got into it really well, and he came back home after the first one, right? And he said, okay, uh, why did it take me so long to do this? I love doing this. So. Uh, really happy that he's a part of it. I love him to death and like I said these two guys are I've got my daughter and she's she's the she runs everything, right? Mike? Yeah, she does. So uh but you know um they're great kids. I'm very fortunate to have a great young men and and a great daughter and family's everything. On this Father's Day, Michael has this message for his dad. You're the reason why I am the man I am today. Uh, I love you very much. You really do an awesome job. I look up to you. Hopefully one day I can be the father that you are to me, Anthony and Nicole. And I love doing this with you. I love seeing the passion on your face. And let's keep riding this out till the wheels fall off.